78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So Stephen A. Smith of ESPN continues his, his usual job of cutting all kinds of jigs. Stephen A. Smith uh, says that um, uh, in regards to the, the passing of O.J. Simpson, Stephen A. Smith, with absolutely no class whatsoever, in my opinion, um, decides to take shots at O.J., talking about, um, you know, the trial and all that stuff. And what he, you know, people keep trying to relive this trial, keep trying to redo this trial. And talking about if it was up to him, O.J. would have been locked underneath the prison and, oh, God would deal with him and all this type of stuff, right? Stephen A. Smith has also... Um, taken so much pleasure and put so much effort and energy and time, his own personal time, into this P. Diddy situation, constantly talking about the P. Diddy situation and, and all these allegations of, against P. Diddy. Is it over for, for P. Diddy or not? Uh, you know, just, just constantly, constantly pushing these narratives. But yet, Stephen A. Smith has yet to go on any type of onslaught against James Dolan, who's been accused of similar things. Uh, James Dolan being the owner of the New York Knicks. Stephen A. Smith is from New York. He's supposed to be a super New York Knicks fan, and he will not discuss it. Will not discuss it. You know what I'm saying? You can't make him. You can't shame him into discussing it. You see what I'm saying? He got the utmost respect for them people. When Dana White of the UFC got in trouble for uh, being on video, slapping his wife. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Stephen A. Smith went on ESPN First Take the next day and defended uh, uh, um, uh, Dana White. You know what I'm saying? He defended him. You know what I'm saying? And um, Stephen A. Smith ha also hasn't put any energy into the Vince McMahon situation, which is a huge story. Vince McMahon has been accused of some of the most uh, 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 atrocious acts. You know what I mean? If you're talking about this P. Diddy stuff, ain't nothing compared to what Vince McMahon has been accused of. Uh, uh, him and the WWE and uh, Pat Patterson and all that kind of stuff uh, that they let go on for years and years and years. Stephen A. Smith has not put any energy into discussing that. When the black community was outraged at, at the Josh Giddy situation and, and how ESPN, Malika Andrews, and Stephen A. Smith were it seemed to be ignoring the Josh Giddy situation, uh, Stephen A. Smith, he came out and um, addressed the Josh Giddy situation, talking about, you know, oh, well, well, this, this, well, well this, and we have to let the investigation play out, okay? We have to we show some respect and let the, just calm down. We have to see what's going on here. Let the investigation play out. Well, I'll tell you what, what happened. What happened is Josh Giddy was found to be dealing with a 15-year-old girl. And uh, Josh Giddy was, uh, uh, even though it was known that he was messing with this girl, people online were trying to make excuses for him, saying that the girl lied to him about her age, even though Josh Giddy was seen getting speeding tickets in front of this girl's high school. So, how? I mean, I don't know how she lied about her age, right? Uh, then... There was a situation where Josh, the media went radio silent, the NBA went silent, and allowed Josh Giddy uh, to uh, work something out with this girl and her family to keep it out of the public eye. That's the respect he was given, and that's the respect a lot of these black YouTubers gave Josh Giddy as well. They didn't want to talk about it, and when they did talk about it, they were they was in defense mode. Now it's different when it comes to P. Diddy. All the allegations against Diddy just must be true. You know what I'm saying? It must be true. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, and you see similar stuff with the OJ. OJ was found not guilty uh, by a jury, okay? Um, and uh, way back in the 90s, and people are, can't let this go. They can't let it go. Who, who, who was this woman where, where uh, out of all the people that bad things have happened to, all the people that have lost their, their existence on this planet, who, what makes this one person that OJ was dealing with so valuable, so important, that uh, 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 everything associated with this, it must be talked about for decades and decades to come. I'm trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? There's no disrespect to Nicole and her family. My question is, what makes Nicole so valuable, right? What makes what, what makes her, her so, what, what is it because she's a human being? You can't say that because there's a lot of human beings. There's people that are missing right now that y'all don't even talk about. See what I'm saying? Y'all don't even talk about. See what I'm saying? Y'all y'all come on here, y'all instigating beef amongst brothers constantly. Kind of, you, 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 oh, J. Cole don't want he don't want no smoke with Kendrick Lamar. He, you know what I'm saying? He's a conscious brother. He don't want to, he don't want to go through that. So he said, nah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna fall back from this. This ain't me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no, I don't even like the energy. I don't even want to start that. 
You got black dudes. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at him. He's soft. He's soft. He's soft. Yeah, everybody's soft. Everybody's soft. And that attitude has uh, uh, got people in prison in our community. That attitude got people in the grave in our community. And you know what y'all do? Y'all instigate. And then y'all 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 eat y'all cereal, y'all Captain Crunch in the morning, and say, mm, "That's messed up." You heard what happened to, to Ray Ray? Psh, man, he gone, bro. Yep, he was in the he was arguing. Man, he, he pulled up in front of in front of Johnny them house last night. Hey man, he get car got shot up. Man, that's crazy. Hey, pass me, hey hey, pass me the peanut butter crunch. You ain't got the peanut butter, man. Who who ate up all the peanut butter crunch? That's that's how your story gets told, ladies and gentlemen. Don't nobody care. Don't nobody care about black life, man. That's that's this how this is what happens. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Instigate stuff, but then you put all these other people on pedestals. And Stephen A. Smith is the worst offender, in my opinion. Uh, he does this stuff constantly. Um, and gets away with it. Um, and, and Jason Whitlock be calling him out. And Jason Whitlock ain't no better. Jason Whitlock is worse than Stephen A. Smith. But Jason Whitlock be calling out uh, Stephen A. Smith for a lot of his lies and. Uh, uh, the narrative shit Stephen A. Smith be trying to push, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I don't respect it. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I know Stephen A. Smith get paid millions of dollars and he got a job to do. I understand that. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, Stephen A. Smith tries to walk that balance of beam like I've been telling y'all for years about him. He walks the balance of beam to the point where, uh, where he wants to have one foot in the black community and the other foot in corporate America that happens to be white America and uh, uh, what he wants to do is uh, try to serve two masters he wants both sides to be happy right and the majority of the time he throws his own under the bus to, to put a smile on these people's faces just like he said before in a, a famous quote from Stephen A. Smith is uh, when I wake up in the morning I'm thinking about how can I make my bosses more money and bro if that's not a uh, <laughs> bro if that not a buck dancing I don't know what it is man this man said when he wake up in the morning, his first thought is, how can I make my bosses more money? Not how can I make more money, right? Not how can I be a better man today than I was yesterday? Not hey, how can I be a better benefit to my family, a better asset to my family today? It's how can I make my bosses more money? Hey, bro, that's just what them folks wanna hear. And you know, I'm gonna tell you how they rewarded Stephen A. Smith. They, they After all that talk he doing, Coming in on his vacation, uh, 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 coming in obviously tired, uh, uh, being on every network or ESPN, right? What they do? They give a YouTuber, Pat Maffrey, more money than Stephen A. Smith. That's what they do to you. Now he's trying to ease his way out of ESPN and and uh, and go over to you know come to YouTube and have his own show and you know and even when he went off on Jason Whitlock, he had to get permission from them people. To my, I called my boss today and I said, listen. I'm about to go in on this guy. Is that okay with you, my son? And they said, yeah, boy, go ahead. As long as you keep it on him and not on the white folk. Yes, sir. I mean, this, this is what Stephen A. Smith do, and I think the jig is up with him. This is why guys like Shannon Sharp have clearly just blown him out the water, uh, uh, just, just clearly. It's because he has an old way of thinking. He got that old, uh, um, you know, that old uh, house, you know what? <coughs> that old house ninja, the whole house ninja way of thinking. And uh, that's just what it is. I don't care how many um, cross colors, Malcolm X jackets you wear. Um, nobody will ever forget that Steve, Stephen A. Smith was always on the wrong side of these issues as it relates to black people. He was on the wrong side of the Colin Kaepernick situation as well. He constantly bashed Colin Kaepernick when the whole, uh, uh, with the masses, I would say 80% of the black community in America was back in Colin Kaepernick, maybe 85%. And uh, Stephen A. Smith was on the wrong side of that, you know, and a lot of people lost respect for him um, behind that. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. You know, so uh, rather than not O.J. Simpson did it or not and all that stuff, I don't know why people keep talking about this, but I don't care. I'm being honest with you, I don't care. And I, I'll talk more about that on my Patreon where I can go more in depth. And uh, you know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all check out uh, patreon.com forward slash 78 sports TV where I'll be cooking on a lot of different topics like this and, and more in depth and I can use the language I want to use but um, anyway uh, shout out to Cameron Mace because Cameron Mace responded to uh, Stephen A. Smith and to a lot of the hate that was coming from coming aimed at OJ once he passed uh, Caitlyn Jenner is another one 
Caitlyn Jenner is another one who had the audacity to try to talk crazy about OJ to my good riddance after he passed. But yet, Caitlyn Jenner uh, also took somebody's life. You know what I'm saying? Took someone's life and uh, and paid them off. Took somebody's life, paid them off. And I paid off the family. You know what I'm saying? But nobody's, uh, every time they see Caitlyn Jenner, nobody's coming out here uh, calling that person, uh, uh, you know, uh, a murderer or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But this is what they do. So it's a lot of people out here talking about good riddance and, oh, that's what they get. You know, and uh, I think Shannon Sharp and uh, Ocho said it said it best. You know, God don't like ugly. You know what I'm saying? Whether you believe in um, a higher power, whether you believe in nature, you, you believe in something. It's always a power greater than yourself. Uh, but um, I just think that's some janky stuff to do to celebrate the somebody else's... Uh, a transition. I think it's a janky thing to do for yourself, for your family. I just think it's, it's something that I wouldn't play with on the spiritual level. Me personally, I wouldn't. Even with my enemies, I never, uh, even when I was in the streets doing knucklehead stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, I always had a certain respect for, uh, for for that transition because that can be, that can happen to any one of us. Anybody get caught slipping or your day just come, you know what I'm saying? It's a certain level of respect for that. I don't know what happened within the last 20 years, like these kids submerge some and then go to the grave site and, and desecrate the grave and all that kind of stuff. Like, bro, that's certain stuff I wouldn't play with. Just bad energy. You know what I'm saying? Bad energy, fam. So, but to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be a monster. Everybody want to be a savage until them, 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 you know what I'm saying? Them things come see you in the middle of the night. Them, them visions come see you in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? And you waking up in cold sweats and whatnot. But, you know, um, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody a savage. Everybody a goon. When, when everybody looking, but ain't nobody looking, man. Get, get real lonely. Get scary out there. You know what I'm saying? I know. I've been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? But you, some of y'all gotta keep up your fronts. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep up your fronts. But anyway, R.I.P. to O.J. Uh, uh, you know, Stephen A. Smith um, ain't gonna change. He is who he is. You know what I mean? And that's why I cook on him constantly to remind him and remind the world of what he really is. He's not fooling me. He might fool some, but he ain't fooling me. Him or Jason Whitlock. You know, Jason Whitlock, I told y'all, he think he clever. Jason Whitlock, you know, he trying to get in to the YouTube community thing to, you know, get people on his side, you know what I'm saying? Because he preparing a, a strategic attack. And he just, he wants to flatter YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Jason Whitlock knows me. Jason Whitlock likes me, you know, very, very clever, clever tactic, but he can't fool me with that. I know what Jason Whitlock up to. He, he finna pull something real slick in a minute, and he want him a team behind him when he pull it. But anyway, that's my two cents on the matter. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash that like button on the way out. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm a fire here, deuces.